got some cat drama here. So I am working right now on a log cabin square. I believe it is Stacy's pattern from Very Pink Knits. I'm making myself a blanket. I've made many blankets telling myself it's for me. And before I'm finished, I decide who it belongs to and I give it away. Or I'm almost finished and someone claims it and that's awesome. I, I love giving away things that uh, people will love forever. Ooh. Shall we do an unboxing? Just because I'm on video right now. You want my scissor? I put the groceries away. Okay. I'll do that after. Want to do it with me after? Mm -hmm. Want to open the box and hand me stuff? After? Okay, sounds like a plan. Got an unboxing to do. Good idea. Okay, done. So here's my square so far. And I'm recording. The colors I am using, I've done several squares. I've, I'm doing kind of a theme where I do squares in the colors of my amigurumi projects. I've got a square in her colors, I've got a square in his colors, and I've got many amigurumi that I've given away and I've done squares in their colors. So the one I'm working on now is these guys. Let me introduce you. I made two more unicorns. I love them to pieces. These are for my nephews. I'll show you the one here. I I have a video on the curls and I have a video on the horn. The rest of it is all Scylla Web. I've done, I can't remember if I've done the eyes on video. I think I may have, I'm not sure. I cast on, on a draw loop in the center and I increase and I throw in a pearl, pearl row. And then I do decreases and I graft it on and stuff it a bit. But I've also put the safety eye in through the center of the cast on. And when I attach it to the head, I pinch up a bit of the I pinch up a bit of the fabric and poke the uh, safety eye through there before I put the backing on. And then I close the what I've knit over it and then graft it on with the stuffing in. So that's how I've done the eyes. And I'm certain I recorded, I gotta find out, figure out if I've posted that clip or not. I have a video of the curls. I've made a video of my uh, modified e-loop cast on for the curls. And I absolutely love it. I did these different, I, on the video, I leave the strand for the cast on and I weave it in through the center up to the top again. On this one, I just worked it in with my first few stitches as I worked them so the, the uh, cast on strand is tucked somehow in there and they're fine. I love how springy they are. They're fantastic. I love them to pieces and I have a video on the horn. I. When I put these eyes on, I just put them in general relation to where the horn and the ears are. And for the other one, there these are knit flat and there's a seam here. I got to the point where the, the head shape changes. This is narrow and then it gets bigger there. So you've got kind of cheeks. 
I love them, they're perfect. So I got to the, about around about that area and I counted the stitches on my needle, divided by three, and I knit, I worked one third, put a purl stitch, worked a third, put a purl stitch, and there's the other third there. So that's how I positioned those eyes. So they turned out farther apart than these eyes. And I like both. It gives them character. <laughs> very, very bouncy hair. So there's the update on those. And I think, did I just say this already? I can't remember. No, I didn't. I saw another video on this lady. She did two curly cues and she took one and she she folded it into the other round around and tucked it inside tucked one inside the other and she just kept turning until she got a spiral and I thought that is absolutely genius because the first the first unicorn I did I sewed the um, curly cue four beside each other just and it kind of was spready and this made it into a clump of a clump of hair which is appropriate for a tail so i spiraled two inside each other and two inside each other and set them side by side and i added a few security stitches there and again on the other side there just to make sure that the spiral doesn't come undone and I sewed them on side by side and it made them closer so that made it it made it clumpy and I would saw that video after I'd attached their hair but on the next one I know I'm gonna do a next one I love this pattern it's by Silhouette it's 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 fantastic so on the next one I think I'm going to twirl two and put them so the mane is thicker and more central but I love them. I love them so much. These are for my nephews. And the colors from the unicorn, what's left of them, is becoming a square for my log cabin blanket. I've got two more, four, four more sections after that orange. Okay, so that's my square and my unicorn. I'm still waiting for my lovely assistant to come. And I have pocket buddies. I think, I believe I showed you the army army dudes, but I've got horses now. There's the army dudes again. And that is a skunk. I need to make his ears more pointy. And this is the Grim Reaper. I need to figure out where to embroider his scythe because he looks like he's got a over the shoulder bag at the moment. And the horses, I, I did their I did their mane by um, long tail cast on onto the tines of a fork and between each between each stitch I put a single knot and then I put the next stitch and I put a single knot using my um, the, the tail strand the cast on not the working strand so that would be the the skein strand and the working strand goes around the bottom and I used the working the tail the long the non skein bit to make a knot in between and then I cast on another one and made a knot in between I don't know if that makes sense but that's how I did the the mains I'll show you the backs maybe I need a contrast color for the tail so it stands out a bit more And this guy here, my skunk, I need to um, maybe do another roll and another stitch. Another roll longer and another stitch wider to get an ideal skunk looking. Well, as I was finishing this, it occurred to me that if I put the strand, the white strand, wider so it goes where the eyes are. And you can barely see the ears here. I think they need to be pointier. I got to 
make some adjustments there for the skunk. But with the ears like this, and if I put the white wider, this guy could be a badger, and that tail might be appropriate for the badger. So that's next on my needles. And I think that's all I've got to tell you about these. I cast on two, put an eye uh, yarn over eyelet, purled and then two yarn over eyelets and purled and then cast off. So there's not much to the face. That's easy. And I just made a triangle, seamed the tip of the triangle shut and put the, uh, uh, stitched the um, one side of the triangle just over the edge of the face there to make it look like a hood. So I don't want to add more thickness because I'm sticking these into vendor bubbles, which I failed to uh, make sure I have access to. It's too much digging to get them out again. And I've got um, unboxing to show you. I've never done an unboxing, so this is the first. Second. Second? Oh, yeah. right, on my birthday box, right? Yeah. My lovely assistant is off screen here. I ordered from Yarn Canada, which is where I've been ordering from since the pandemic started. I know when I can get myself to Walmart or Mar Michaels. So I decided to risk putting my credit card online and see if, see if I can control myself with spending and so far so good. Thank you. The box is open. I don't recall what I got. Yay, the lollipop. I know I ordered needles. Driftwood needles. Yes, I ordered driftwood needles. Um, all in my favorite size. I I use this size for my my amigurumi. I also ordered one in each straight, double point, and circular. And I ordered myself some stitch markers. I hope those last. The last ones I ordered shattered. Those are so pretty. I found, I've been, I got, I really liked my unicorn that I did with the shiny happy Christmas crap with the glitter in. You hop up on camera if you're going to meow at me. So I got the pink and Oh my gosh. I don't recall putting that in my cart. Two ply super wool. Oh my gosh, why did I get so, so many of those? I don't recall putting this in my cart. Toughy two ply. Okay, one, two, three, four of those. This is your package. I know, I don't know what happened here. Why do I have these? I don't recall. It's called Tuffy. 80% pure wool and 20% nylon. Maybe I was thinking about socks. Hmm. Awesome. Wow, look at that. <clears throat> that is called supernova it's got sparklies in i can't tell if you can listen. maybe rip them open for me so i can show them oh yeah that shows better see the shiny oh my gosh oh that's so pretty oh maybe i'll do the other one too this one because i didn't show the shiny and oh there we go Yeah, it shows better that way. Wow. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do with those? Everything. And then another, what's this one called? Starlight. 
Mm. Can you see the shiny on that one? Push that down a bit. There, I caught a bit of sparkle there. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then this one. What's this guy called? Fireball. Knock me over. Oh my god. Oh, oh I love that. That's wonderful. Oh my god. That's my favorite. Nobody touched that. Um... I think I've ordered this meaning to use it on my blanket that I've been working on, but it doesn't seem to be the same color. Maybe I did something wrong there. I'll have to take a look at my blanket and see if I matched the color. I'm not sure if I did. I have a um, um, 13 stitch blanket going on. I posted a short video of it on Crafts by the Rose on Facebook. And I didn't save the clip, so I I can't add it here. You got a speedy but if you, I did. Isn't it exciting? Yeah. I got myself one of those jumbo beach yarn winders. My favorite job. Yeah. My daughter's just unwinding it right now, or unwrapping it. It's very shrink wrapped. So, I'll show you what's written on here. It says Yarn Guide. Yarn Guide Support. Winding Post. Handle. Drive Band. And Spindle. I guess it needs to be put together, huh? Can I show it now before you? I just, uh, I'm wrapping a couple more pieces. Okay. I got some unwrapping to do. I got overexcited and pressed send on my cart as it was, which is probably why I don't remember adding the the wool. But I think I was probably thinking about socks because it's wool and nylon, which is ideal for socks as far as I know. And I definitely wanted all the shiny stuff because I absolutely loved the unicorn I did with the shiny stuff. And oh my God, that, that, uh, um, fireball. Oh my god, I, I love that so much. Huh, comes with a little bit of oil. Really? For the... It looks like it leaked a bit, eh? Yeah. What's that? Oh, table clamp probably, huh? Oh, Allen wrench. I think that's what it's called. Got a few more pieces there she's unwrapping. So I got a little bit of teeny bit of extra money and decided, okay, I'm pressing play on my shopping cart. And I got a whole bunch of shiny stuff. I love the shiny stuff. I'm planning on casting on another unicorn, so maybe that's what's going to happen with my favorite color there. We shall see. Awesome. Oh, you're in the way. It's got holes. I guess that's the yarn, the strand holder for wrapping. And there's the uh, mechanism. Oh my god, this is going to be so much fun. Mm -hmm. Right on. There's a... What does that say there? Estelle Yarns. So I got 
I got this from Yarn Canada and I, I don't know, I can't remember how much it cost. If it's on. Nope, the prices aren't on my thingy here. But anyway, Yarn Canada. I thought it was in BC, but that receipt says Calgary, which is fine. So anyway, that's everything for today. I'm going to finish this up and do some video editing. Bye. <laughs> What's going on? He's been underfoot. Is he trying to harass you for canned food? Probably. Oh, he's mad now. Gone to sharpen his claws.